y'all what's up it's me lydia marie welcome back to my channel today y'all we're going to be doing a quick try on and review of the new elf camo powder foundation that is a mouthful i'm so used to saying saying the elf camo concealer but elf released this powder foundation i want to say like a month ago or something like that um around that time and um they kind of were stingy with the shades at first when they released them like in Ulta. They had them on Elf website. They sold out like that. I wasn't able to get it when it first dropped or anything like that. So I was like, that's cool. My Ulta didn't have, they were weird with their shades for whatever reason. I don't know. Anyway, this weekend I happened to be in Target browsing around the beauty and I come across the Elf shelf and they had the Elf Camel Powder um, foundation in stock. Not a lot, but I happened to find a shade that I thought was my closest shade match. So I picked it up right away because it was the last one left. And I was like, finally, I'm going to try this. So today we're going to get into this Elf Camel Powder um, foundation to see how it wears, see if it does what it claims it's going to do. And most importantly, see if this is a good shade match. If you're new here, my name is Lydia Marie. I'm a beauty blogger, makeup enthusiast, former makeup artist, talk about all things beauty, lifestyle, hair, skin skincare, everything on this channel. And to me, being beautiful on a budget is an absolute lifestyle. So I'm always here with the good drugstore makeup content and things of that nature. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's get into this new e.l.f. powder foundation. So e.l.f. says that this foundation is a primer infused pressed powder foundation that delivers buildable coverage and an airbrush finish. Love that. I did not have a lot of, I got the shade, um, I got the shade Medium 33W. This retails for $11 either on Elf website or at Target or Ulta. And I had to compare the shade to my um, Fashion Fair press powder that is in the shade Golden Luxe. So this is the Fashion Fair press powder. And I have to be careful with this Elf because when I swatched it, it's kind of powdery. And this is the Elf. Um, powder. It does come with the sponge, the applicator sponge. This is good for touch-ups. I can't use it to apply it because I feel like these sponges use a little bit of streaks. So I have my face prepped and primed already. I have concealed, color corrected with the e.l.f. Um, color corrector. We're going to go all e.l.f. today. And I have used concealer, the e.l.f. camo concealer under my eyes and kind of spot treated around my face. I don't have on any other foundation. Prime my face with the e.l.f. putty primer. And I think I'm going to try to apply it with this kabuki brush. This is a dense uh, head here and so it's kind of flat and as you can see like I said with one swipe it got a little powdery so we're going to take a couple of swatches and I'm going to try it on here to make sure it's a good shade wrap match so it picks up a lot on the brush and all I did was tap it so I have to tap off that excess to kind of see and I'm going to swatch it and look down in my mirror down here to see on my cheek How oh that's good though that looks good down here for sure. It's definitely going on really smooth. Um, and I can see where it will be, might be buildable. Back here, can you tell the coverage at all? It's really nice. It looks good. Let's try a little bit more on the brush. And just pat it and see. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you guys. This is nice. Can you see that? It's a good, good, good shade range too. I can see how you could build this up for sure, but it feels really good. It's kind of like the Sephora Micro Smooth feeling. Um, and even though you, this can be used as a pressed powder, I'm gonna put it on as foundation. So I'm gonna keep applying this and see how I like it. But look how it covered up this. So you can tell I kind of missed this spot right here. But honestly, 
this is kind of bomb. <laughs> and you guys know I have dry combination skin. Um, I get oily a little bit up here in my T-zone, but not lately though. I've had a dry patch right here. So with a powder foundation and you have dry skin, you need to prep your skin beforehand. You need to prep it. Um, since this is primer infused, it's going to set a little bit better on your skin um, because it does have that added uh, effect for the primer. So it's like giving you the primer and powder all in one. Personally, I still will go in and prep my skin with whatever moisturizer. Um, I did use a primer in this case because I just like to use a primer before I apply my makeup. But honestly, I think I'm going to go in with another layer to see how it really builds up. But even with this one layer, how smooth it feels, it feels really, really good. So far, I'm kind of impressed with this. I got to say, this is two layers of the powder and it still feels nice and light i did put it on like i said with this kabuki brush this is from la Rue's beauty so you can pick up a lot more with this i could either do this or i could do that but elf y'all may have a winner here i'm gonna finish putting on my makeup with the rest of my elf products i'm gonna use this elf rose gold eyeshadow palette add some lip gloss and then i'm in some blush and some bronzer and some highlight okay i'm gonna finish my face i'll be right back <laughs> all right y'all so i finished my face i put on some blush and bronzer from the elf blush palette it's very blushy as you can see <laughs> i put on a little bit of gloss i finished my face so what am i saying to this elf camo powder foundation am i saying bye or am i saying bye and i'm saying bye Take your coins, take your $11. If you're in the market for a powder foundation, I think that this would be a great investment. You know, e.l.f. is probably one of my favorite drugstore brands, period. They've really, really been coming with it with the complexion products, in my opinion. And I feel like this is going to make a great addition to my powder foundation stash. If you wanted to compare it to... Um, say like your Fenty foundation. I can't compare the colors because my Fenty foundation is a little bit more neutral because I bought it at a different time of year, but it does feel good to me as well, like the Fenty does as well. It's buildable like the Fenty is. It goes on well. You can use it to set or touch up your makeup or anything like that. And this is what this does, what this claims to do as a powder foundation or a pressed powder. The same way I use my Fashion Fair um, powder, like I said, it's very, very comparable to that as well, giving you the airbrush finish. This is two layers where normally I wouldn't wear two layers unless this was the only foundation that I'm using. But honestly, this could be it for spring. Like especially if you're traveling, you don't want to take liquid with you and let TSA go through all of it. You can pop this in your purse and be on your way because it is giving me the coverage that I like. It's not completely full. I did go in with two layers and I did color correct my hyperpigmentation spot over here and conceal them. So just keep that in mind. But honestly, I feel like this is a really good powder foundation, especially for it being $11. Again, if you're looking for your shade, you can't find it in the store, check the e.l.f. website. I do believe they just read up on their um, their the rest of their shades. I really don't know why they stag, stag their uh, shade releases like that. It was like, girl, you promoted this project. I mean, this, you know, new powder. Give us the shade. So <laughs> I was just very lucky to be able to find mine in the store. So I just grabbed it up right away. But I honestly think this is a really good match. I may have to get another one for the summertime because I'm still in my wintertime pale. But overall, I would give this two thumbs up. Of course, I will have it linked down below if you want to take a closer look or anything like that. Let me know what you think of the final look of the application and everything in the comments. And let me know if you would be telling Elf bye or will you be going to bye. I'll see y'all the next time.